What's up, Boatu family? It's Abraham again, lead instructor here at Sasso's Water Academy. And today I'm going to show you how to do a root pass with 6010 on a 3G plate and 5G pipe. Now I know y'all seen this with Hamar already, but my technique's a little different. All right, let's do this. All right, so I'm prepping up my, uh, my plates right here. Now you, when you do a root pass with 6010, you want to put a landing on it, whether it be in a 332 or a 1.8. I prefer a 332. Now keep in mind, too much landing can keep you from penetrating. So landing can be like a double-edged sword. If you don't have enough landing, you're gonna blow through. If you have too much landing, it'll keep you from penetrating. And that goes for plate and pipe. All right guys, I got my 3G coupon set up right here. Uh, I used a 332 landing and a 332 space gap. I tacked it at both edges, one right here and one right here. Now if you want to use a, a 1 8 landing and a 1 8 gap, that's totally fine, or a 1 8 landing and a 332 gap, that's totally fine too. But keep in mind, you don't want to get, go too heavy on your landing because it, your landing could be a double-edged sword. Whether if, if it's too thin of a landing, you can blow through easily, and if it's too much of a landing, it is gonna be, it's going to be hard to penetrate. So pretty much the technique I use instead of Aguilos or Hamars, I used a technique that's pretty much the whip and pause technique. So I pretty much, I'm gonna draw my keyhole. I have my keyhole right here. This is my, this is my keyhole. Right here. My puddle is pretty much coming up down here. This is where my puddle's at. My puddle's be right here. This is my keyhole right here. So pretty much, I whip it, okay? But there's more to it than just whipping it up and down, okay? When I whip it, I actually, when I go, when I go up, I push into the top edge of that keyhole. I push, very slightly, gently push. And, I, and it's pretty, and that's where the pause comes from. I push, pause right here, but as I'm pausing, I'm actually pushing just a tad bit, and I come back down to the puddle. And when you push on top of that keyhole right here, you can actually see this portal right here turn from bright red to dark because I'm pretty much treating this rod like a cigarette. I'm pretty much, it's like turning off a cigarette. cigarette. I'm controlling the, the output of the heat by choking the rod. So as I go up, I push in, I choke the rod. So I stop heat from, uh, from coming out of the rod. And this, it, that makes this puddle down here cool off. And then as I, when I see it cool off, when I t see it turn uh, dark red from, from bright to dark, I go back to it. And that's my, that's my method, up and down, up and down, whip. Whip, down, whip, up, down, up, down, up, down. But as I go up on this lead it, leading edge of the, of the keyhole, I push in right here and then go back down. Push in, go back down, push in, go back down. Push in, go back down. Now, many people don't know how far to go up, how far to go, go up or go down. The, your, your window is your keyhole. This is your keyhole, your window. You don't want to go past the keyhole. You want to go right at the leading edge of the keyhole and go back down. Now, many people don't know how far to go down. You don't, you, all you do is go down to the edge of that puddle right here. So like I said, my puddle is going to be down here and then I'm going to have my keyhole. You don't see it right now, I haven't started. What I'm going to do is up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. But it just isn't up and down. Actually, when you go up, you have to actually push into the plate because you got you to gotta choke the rod to stop heat. So you push into it, down, push into it, down, push into it, down, push into it, down, push into it, down. All right guys, well, let's get to it. I'm gonna start the root pass.
All right, guys, uh, as you saw me, I was, I was whipping and pausing. I was whipping and pausing. Now, this is the keyhole I was talking to you about. Y'all see this right here? This is the top edge of the keyhole, bottom edge of the keyhole. So what I was doing as I was, I was, I was whipping it, I would go up and as I would go up, I would press into this corner right here, this corner top edge of the keyhole. I would press and that's when you actually hear that, you, hear, you can actually hear that go like a wind noise. So you actually press right here and then come back down. Press right here and come back down. This is your window right here. Some people don't know how far up to go, how far up to go. You should not pass this keyhole right here. And when you go down, you should just go to the edge of the puddle right here. Make sure you go all the way right here. Up, down, up, down. So what I'm basically doing, I'm choking the rod. I'm choking the rod. As I push in, it chokes the rod, which it stops heat and makes the puddle cool off. And it stops me from, from blowing through. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much what I do. It's very simple. And this method, uh, you can use it for, for any position. I, I, use it, I use it when I do a 2G, 3G, 4G, and I use it when I do my roots on, on, on pipe, which I'll be showing y'all later on this video. All right, guys, I just feathered my stop. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna strike my arc about right here, work myself up, make sure I heat this area good, and then continue whipping it back and forth. All right, guys, I'm working myself up to the tie-in, heating this up, heating it up, heating it up, just heat up, start whipping it. Now one thing you want to watch out as you're doing your roux, you want to, you want to keep, you want to watch out for that keyhole. Make sure it's not getting out of control. If your keyhole is too big, it means you, your amperage is too high. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. All right guys, remember guys, it isn't just going up and down, just whipping it up and down. When you go up, you actually have to push into this because you gotta choke the rod. If your keyhole's getting out of control, one way to control that also, the size of the keyhole, is by, by pushing into this corner right here because that stops heat, thus making the keyhole stay small. So if you're just going up and down and not, and not pushing in, you're not choking the rod, you're just, you're just there's just heat coming out of here which is gonna make your puddle get super hot and your keyhole is gonna grow in size. Work myself up, work it, heat up the area, heat up the area. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. All right guys, I got my pipe tacked up. It's tacked up in a 5G position. It's a six inch schedule lady pipe. I have a 332 gap with a 332 landing. I have my tacks at 12 o'clock and six o'clock and I already feathered them. I'm gonna be using the same technique I use on my 3G route. Feather your tines. So I'm gonna spark right here. Spark right here and work myself up. Make sure I heat this up and then continue to my back and forth with the motion. Now remember, this, this, is the, this is my keyhole. I go up just as, uh, when I go up, I only go up to the 
tip of the keyhole right here and I come back down to the, to the puddle here come back down now the way I manage my keyhole and I control my keyhole from not getting out of control is I'm pushing it I'm pushing the rod so I choke the rod it stops heat so that's how I control my size of my keyhole Alright guys, there you have it. With your pause technique, I hope y'all learned something. Have a good one.